Another short video, and uh, this time it's an unboxing of the uh, Corsair Obsidian Series 750D Airflow Edition full tower case, um, which doesn't really fit in the frame of the um, of the video, but um, we'll see how we get on. So let's get the box open. Before, so it's all still nicely sealed up. So we'll just open it up. This one is the airflow edition, so it's got a slightly different front panel to the standard 750 uh, series. It's also got a windowed panel. So all that PC goodness can be seen. There's a massive bit of cardboard on the top, just clipping the top of it. And that's the top view. You can see it's all still wrapped up. There's a bit of tape covering various things. The easiest way to get these out is to not try and lift them out. But on the side of poking up and this side of our little grip bits make sure they're out of the case like that can we see those yeah so make sure those are out and then flip the case so the open side is facing downwards and then all you do is lift off the box, so you take the box off rather than the case out. And that's um, a lot easier, a bit of a stuffy thing there. Also, you know, we'll take off that side of the Now we can write it. thing we find is a little manual installation guide it's got a warranty against defects thing on it nothing else in that bag no screws or anything so we'll just flip it round and there is oh it's quite heavy there is the case itself you can see the side panel is there it's got a film on it to protect it And the front has also got a little bit of tape on the front just to hold that on so we'll take that off and that's uh, it's just masking tape so it comes off without any leaving any residue that falls down and it's sticky but there we go so does that come off I think it does and we'll put there's two fans in the front, that's why it's the airflow edition, and this is a mesh, sort of a dustproof mesh um, on the front, you can see straight through that, it's got a fine mesh on one side, that's a, um, a different to the standard 750D, because the standard 750D has got a clear, there's no holes in it, it's just a complete flat plate. I think they, um, of course they do a conversion kit where you can buy the fans and this and then say your version is the airflow edition. So you get two nice big fans at the front. Um, try and get that back in. Just sort of slots in. That's it in. So that's quite nice. Oh, get the camera there a bit. So we'll have a look at this side now. Those are normally fun tie, which they are, so we can take that off. On the top, which we'll look at once I've got this off. 
So that's that side panel off. You can see inside the case. Let's move that a little bit so you get a better view. Here's a little pack of goodies. One, two, three, four, five, six, three and a half inch drive bays. There's little grooves on the top there, so I think we can move them around and position them. There's also some little ones here, which are accessible from the other side. I think they're for the SSDs. There's your fan connector for the two front fans. You've also got a nice big fan at the back, which has also got um, a three pin thing. There's a USB 3. There's little grommets there and there. The cable routing. Let's just check out what's in here. Cable ties. And open that up. Wouldn't bother counting them. You get some. Looks like four. And you get various different screws. Let's just see what sort of screws you get. And there's little hard drive screws there, you look quite big thread, so they're going to be for fans. There's a loose hex riser because they're already mounted. There's little tiny ones for your know, SSDs and your floppies. And there's some you know, four arbitrary screws there, four long screws. No idea what they're for. They're in a collection of slightly bigger screws, so you get a collection of screws. No doubt the, the manual will say precisely which screws you get. Um, I think it's safe to say that as this is an unboxing, we don't need to go into that sort of detail, but it's probably safe to say that there are enough screws. Um, so these drive trays all come out. There's space at the top for three and a half inch, uh, no, five and a quarter inch optical drives. Um, the case itself is a lot wider than that. Um, on the top, let's just get this out of the way. Put it over here. Put that back in. On the top, let's make sure that's visible. Yeah, so we go there on the top. There's a mesh, magnetic mesh, which comes off. It's come off there a bit, but it's just because it's just stuck it back on, so we're okay. So that's the mesh there that covers up where you mount your radiators. So there's quite a lot of different connectors for that, but it's going to take a three, three fan radiator quite easily. And there's lots of little holes and different combinations. It comes with the grommets already in for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That's your standard three hundred and twenty mil radiator. Um, which is encouraging because that's what's going to be going in it. Um, on the bottom, there's another dust filter as well for the power supply. There's the dust filter for that. Um, it's got a nice little slot for that. Two holes you can punch out there if you want, if your tubing runs externally. Lots of extension bays at the back. Nice gap at the top. I'll just put this mesh back on. It's quite magnetic. I think the magnets are slightly stronger than the glue they use to stick it to the mesh, but it isn't a big issue because it's not going to get taken off, is it really? Except when I come to build it. Let's take this side panel off here. Again, these should be finger tight, and they are. So we'll just take those off and we'll put those screws like the other two I took off. Quite a substantial bit of metal. So on this side, 
there are the SSD bays. They are removable. So you get a little plastic thing. You slide your thing in, SSD in, put the screws in. And presumably just sort of get it in the right place, I think. Can't find the right place at the moment. Ah, there we are. Uh, two finger rule applies. Um, if you try to fit something into anything, if you use two fingers or a finger and a thumb, you can't apply too much force. So you can't break it. So if it's meant to go in there, it will. And if it isn't meant to go in there, it won't, but you won't be able to break it. If you see what I mean. Um, lots of cable routing. These are actually nice rubber grommets. They're actually rubber, not just holes. That's quite a nice touch. There's quite a space there as well, so that's quite nice. So there's plenty of, of room for cables, so you're not having to squash them in and the side panel doesn't bulge out. So let's have another look at this bit here. And this is the interesting bit. Because if we have a look at where the motherboard sits, which is here, I'll just rotate it round so you can see it, which is here. Let's check. There's the top of the motherboard there. There's a very nice big gap. It's a huge gap actually. So if you've got a motherboard that's got lots of raised funkiness, like a lot of the Asus or Asus. Uh, motherboards have, then when you put a radiator on with fans, they tend to get in the way. And one of my previous videos covered that on a previous build of mine. Um, I had to buy some thin fans to get it to fit. That will not be a problem with this case. Um, so that's, that's excellent. We'll have a nice quick look at the front. Front panel lifts off. Two massive fans, two USB 3, two USB 2. There's a reset button, and that's the power button there with two lights on either side power and hard drive activity. It's considerably wider. I'll just get a DVD drive and you can see. So there's a DVD drive. So you can see that it's actually quite a lot wider than the DVD drive is. So um, yeah, lots and lots and lots of space. Um, looking forward to putting PC in this. Um, any questions about this um, in the comments please? Um, this is being used, and the previous two videos are being used in the build. Um, there are a couple of questions that were asked. I will. Um, try and make videos to answer them but any questions pop them in the comments if you like the video give it a tick and thanks very much for watching